Hi, my name is Amber. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Books and Beaches. So I've had a little bit of a growth in my channel lately. So thank you to everyone who is new here and joining me. I am getting so close to that 1K mark and I'm just so excited. I just can't believe the journey that I've been over the last year and a half. So today is October 31st and I need to start thinking about what my plans are going to be in November. Now, if you've been here for a while, you know, I don't typically make TBRs. Um, and that is still true. I am a mood reader through and through, but I wanted to talk through kind of what my plans were for November. And I may ask for some input at some point. So I may be doing some polls in the community tab again, because I really liked that when I did that in October as part of Spookopathy and Spookopoly, not Spookopathy. <laughs> words. <laughs> I'm going to blame the weather today. Uh, being October 31st, I think most of us are thinking Merry Halloween because where I live in Wisconsin, we got significant snowfall today. And when I say significant, I don't mean like a foot or anything, but we had enough snow that I was kicking myself for not putting my snow brush in my car uh, for after school because there's at least like an inch or two out there. So Anyways, let's jump in to the plans that I have for November. So I do enjoy participating in nonfiction November. So that might be my first plan. Um, one of the book clubs that I'm a part of always does nonfiction November. And this year, I want to make sure I get this right. We are doing or reading. Maybe you should talk to someone. And of course, I can't remember who it's by, but I'll be sure to put the cover here for you. And so I have to have that read by the second week in November. I think I'm going to pick it up on Audible because with uh, nonfiction books, I like to listen to them typically. So that'll be for sure the one I'm participating in nonfiction November. And actually, I'm cheating a little bit because I started early. Um, but I have a book from Nat Galley called The Sta Stable Boy of Auschwitz. And I think Henry Oster is one of the authors. And I didn't know going into this that it was actually a memoir. So started my nonfiction November a little bit early. Now, I am sure there are some other things out there um, that are nonfiction that I would be interested in picking up. I know the new Britney Spears book came out. And like any good millennial, you know, growing up in the 90s child, I am curious to pick it up. I actually saw a lady on TikTok who has gone viral for doing these like silent book reviews. They're hilarious. But she did kind of like a silent read reactions of her reading this Britney book. And it I don't know, her reactions were interesting enough that I want to put it on my list, whether I'll pick it up in the month of November here. I don't know. Um, like I kind of mentioned before, I also would like to participate in NetGalley November. Now, I don't think this is an official thing. I know Krista from Books and Jams might be participating in this, but I have really been trying to work on my NetGalley books. I have a bunch that I've been approved for for 2024, but I don't want to touch those until I can at least get through most of my books that I was given for 2023. So I might also try to work some... Uh, Nat Galley books in, in there. And that is where I may need your help. I think what I'm going to do is after I post this video, I'm also going to have a poll up. So and it'll be probably in my community tab. So you can go and help me vote on maybe which of my Nat Galley books I should focus on, especially some that are already out. And you can tell me whether you've read them and whether they're good or not. So that's kind of another plan that I have for November. Um, I also am part of another book club that kind of got created uh, by members that joined um, the booktube besties readathon. There was a bunch of us that just said, hey, like, we like talking about books with each other. Let's create a book club. Uh, I have been a terrible participant in that book club lately, just because I've been busy. <laughs> and a couple of the books that they picked just weren't necessarily up my alley. And I didn't have room in kind of my reading plans to fit those in. But they are reading Bright Young Women by Jessica Knoll for November. Now I would have to have this finished by next Monday. So I have a little less than a week. I think I can do it. Um, I mean, I know I can do it. But I am also in the middle of two books right now. So 
I do really want to be part of this conversation. Um, I know Audrey over at Chapter and Converse has already read this and told me it was really good. So that for sure will probably be on my plans for November, obviously. And let's see, then the other kind of idea that I have or want to participate in is Historathon, which is being hosted by, let me get these all right, Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library, Gloria from Gloria Z. Thompson, and Amanda, who has now changed her channel to be on the middle shelf. So they are hosting Historathon, which is focusing on reading historical fiction in the month of November. So I may want to also pick up some historical fiction, which we'll see if I can fit any of my neck galley picks into that. So, and, and who knows, I may not stick to any of this because I am a mood reader and I can't go an entire month without a thriller. So, <laughs> but I did want to just mention what their prompts are. So it helps me kind of start thinking about some books and just in case you haven't heard of it already, um, you can know what's going on. So each of them picked three different prompts um, for Historathon, and obviously you're focusing on historical fiction. Uh, Lindsay's prompts are you can read a book by your favorite author, you can read a book from your favorite time period, or you can read a book recommended by a favorite, whether that's a favorite author or a favorite person. I'm sure you have a little bit of wiggle, wiggle room there. Uh, Gloria's prompts are read a book from a place you want to visit, read a five-star prediction, or read a book based on a true story. I wonder if I could kind of wiggle my current read as a memoir. I guess that's not based on a true story. It doesn't focus on historical fiction, Amber. No, you can't squeak that one by. And then Amanda's prompts are read a book with a color in the title, uh, read a book with a three word title, or the word book in a title. So I am sure back in this crazy, I do have some historical fiction. I know I talk a lot about thrillers and mysteries around here, but I do have a love for historical fiction, so I'm sure I could find something back here to maybe fit some of those prompts. So, like I said, I am not setting a specific TBR, um, you know, pile for right now. I do have those couple books that I need to finish, but I just kind of wanted to talk through what my plans were for the month of November, and I will definitely be asking for some input from you all as well. So. If you've got any suggestions on what I should pick up in November, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, let me know what you're thinking of picking up in the month of November. I would love, love to hear it. So, as always, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.